What is go- Oh, what in the world? Oh, it opened up the aquarium right there when I tried to wave at you guys. <laughs> What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Subnautica Below Zero. Now, last time we left off, we had a crazy episode. We went exploring to the, uh, is it still on the, where is it? Oh, did I get rid of it? Oh no, there it is right there, the pilot's last known location. We went over there, we found Margaret. You guys remember, uh, a lot of you guys were in the comments agreeing with me, saying I was correct, and thinking that, yeah, she was the one from the original Subnautica, that, like, fought off like a Reaper Leviathan or something like that, and people thought that she was dead, or, or maybe the Re Reaper Leviathan killed, like, the, the father and son, and then she survived and took on the Reaper, something like that. I need to get brushed up with that story a little bit more, but, yeah, apparently she survived. She, I can, I guess, killed that Reaper in the end, and I can, uh, slept inside us, dead corpse for warmth or whatever that we heard last episode, and seems like she mounted us dead, like, skull on the, on the, uh, on, on the wall like a heckin' trophy, which is crazy good. But either way, uh, we can go back there a little bit later, I suppose, but uh, while we're over there, we actually found a really good piece of tech. We found her heckin' moon pool, scan that. Actually, like, multiple pieces of tech. Uh, a large room, scan that, and a large room with, like, a, a glass ceiling, so that's gonna be really good. I, I'm kinda debating whether or not I should actually build it over here, the moon pool, uh, because I do wanna kinda build, like, a, a base somewhat... like, from here... like, between... Oh, in the world... I don't know what happened right there. Like, maybe, like, between here and the pilot's last known location thing, you know? I'm kind of thinking that. Maybe maybe where we saw those, like, orange event, or not orange, uh, what color are they? I think they're purple. Uh, but I do want to go over there and see if we can actually get anything, uh, like, started over there. So, you know, set up one of those thermal, Welcome like, aboard, thermal, not conduct, is it called a thermal conduct? I forgot what it's called. Uh, but you guys know what I mean. That one thing that you put next to a thermal vent, and it provides, like, power. Uh, let's see, where is that? I know it's in here somewhere. I just need to figure out where it heckin' is. Oh wait, is that it? No, it's the bioreactor, which is the thing that we have right here. We, we can get that water, uh, thermal plant, that's what it's called. Oh, I need magnetite, though. Aw, oh, man. And I need aerogel, too. Yeah, aerogel, I think that's the, uh... Oh, and by the way, between this episode and last episode, I did put down a couple more lockers, actually, like, three more lockers over here. Did my best to line them up there, so... Look, look at how close that is. Oh, that's off by a little bit there, golly. But this is, this is... Oh, that's kind of off there, too. Okay, don't look at it too closely. It it looks pretty uh, pretty next to each other, okay? Jeez. But over here, this is where all the eggs are, because it's closest to the aquarium over here, so I just, uh, you know, just put the uh, the creature eggs over here, and we get a hatch hose once we have a alien containment unit or whatever. Over here, we have, like, the plant-type stuff, and last episode, you guys were letting me know, yeah, you, you are right, you can plant these and get, like, seeds and stuff out of them and basically farm them, so uh, you guys said, hey, why don't you go over here, put them inside the, uh, there we go, and then get the seeds out of them. I think, I think someone said to do it twice. If you do it a third time, it'll destroy it, so. Okay, there we go, that's two. One, two. Okay, so we have four seeds there. And we have the, oh, I can't get those back, man. Ah, whatever. Do I even want to get those? Oh, man. Because I can't do, oh wait, oh, oh, I can just, okay, I was about to say, I can't get them out of this because it's grayed out, but yeah, I can just come over here and pick it up that way, okay. So we're going to be growing four right there, and of course, once those uh, mature, we can get uh, two seeds out of each of those, and therefore, you know, just kind of multiply over here and get a whole heckin' plant bed going, just like we have over here, right? The creep vines and creep seed clusters and whatever else, I have to look very specific, oh, I guess it works better if you're like right up next to them. Yeah, see, there we go. And now my inventory is full, because those things take up a bunch of inventory space. And the same thing over here, uh, you can get, oh yeah, well, I can't do that, because my inventory is full. But yeah, we, we can get, uh, like, creep, like, vines or whatever there, and we can actually get, like, synthetic fibers out of that, right? But, either way, uh, what I've been doing is, uh, reorganizing this over here, because, of course, we started running out of room, so, yeah, look at that, golly. This is completely full over here, so I just have, like, raw materials over here, you know? And then over here I have, like, raw materials that I crafted into stuff, you know? So we have the synthetic fi or, uh, fiber mesh, what? Was there something called synthetic fibers at one time? I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting that name from. Either way, fiber mesh, you know, it's stuff that we crafted into stuff. Lubricant, same thing over here. Uh, so this is where this is. And then over here we have, uh, you know, more rare stuff like diamonds and rubies and uh, ion cubes. I don't know where else to put those, so I just kind of put those in a uran uranite, uraninite crystal. No, I, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, but uh, there you go. Uh, we can get silicon rubber out of these too. Okay, there you go. Oh! A little bit of a... Uh, I don't know why the lights were like flashing right there. We have plenty of power right now. And we have the uh, the bioreactor going. We have... I think it's still daytime, so I don't know why it flashed right there. What? Whatever. I'm just going to get a bunch of heckin' materials out of these creep seeds. Just because, golly, I have... I must have a ton of them! How many did I get right there? I can still make more! Golly! 
Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to make. Oh, well, it's the last thing I can make anyways. <laughs> there we go. Jeez, we have a lot of silicone rubber there, a few lubricants. Boom, noise. And remember, we could actually get the gel sack, combine it together with a ruby, and get aerogel, I believe, right? So, I suppose we could try and do that. I don't know what we're going to be using it for, but, uh, yep, boom, there we go. And there, there were a lot of rubies in that area where we found Margaret. So if we want to, you know, now that we have the farm set up for the arrow or the uh, gel sacks, we can actually go back to Margaret's area over there and get more ruby, and therefore we can get more arrow gel pretty easily that way. So that's cool. Now, we did find a lot of tech over there last episode. I want to see what all we could actually make now. Uh, oh, yeah, there is synthetic fiber right there. Yeah, spiral plant clipping. Don't know what that is, but it's probably going to be found pretty deep down. Especially. Oh. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to die here if I'm not careful. Hold on. Uh, yep, I've got a lot of pre-made water over here. Perfect. Drink all these. Boom. And we're up to... Stabilizing. All right, nice. We're up to full there. Noise. Uh, nice. We still have a lot of cured stuff over here. Yep, does not spoil, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, last episode, we also got the uh, Sea Truck Perimeter Defense Upgrades. Uh, or Upgrade. Provides increased threat protection. So I guess if there's anything near us... Like, what's going to happen? Is it just going to, like... Let's see. Where's the... Uh, here's right here. Upgrade panel. Let's put that there. Increased threat... So, so what happens with this now? Like if I if I run into a fish or whatever, is it like is it like a force field around? Oh, and by the way, yeah, last episode we got a uh, a thing from Alan saying yeah, there's another location over here for the architect artifacts and stuff like that. So here's a peeper. Am I still able to run into it or? Yeah, I'm still able to run into it. I I just need to get like a leviathan or something like that over here to try and attack me. No longer are the sea monkeys going to try and attack me, but I just want to see. Like, how, how does this help us, you know? I can't check the... Well, you can check the upgrades there at the bottom. Hold on. Yeah, I can't, I can't like, select the upgrades there at the bottom and, like, have it tell me what it does, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Uh, let's see, if I run into this, is it going to protect me now? I don't know if that does anything. Nope! We just lost... It. No sound happened right there, but we just lost a point right there, so that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that does. I, I guess you only, uh... Like, see a use out of it whenever, like, a heckin' Leviathan's attacking you or something like that, which is... Yeah, I, I can definitely see the, uh, the use in that, so... Not going to complain about this, especially because it is our first upgrade, and it was completely and utterly free. Also, uh, while we're out here, I might as well see. But, uh, yeah, we have the large room now. Two Plasteel. What was Plasteel again? I think it... Ah, oh, I think it is enameled glass plus... Uh, not fiber, but, uh, titanium. Something like that, right? Man... Well, I guess if we can get the large room glass dome, that'd be a little bit better. A little bit cheaper, at least it seems. Enamel glass, how do you get that again? I think that's it's like some sort of tooth. Are those are those things even in the game anymore? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, I can hold it up in my inventory, right? Where's enamel glass on this? Oh, there it is right there. Uh, no, it's diamond, lead, and glass. I was thinking about some sort of like tooth they can get from some creature and make it like... Well, I guess there's no uh, like titanium parts around here for it to like bite and then lose a tooth, right? So I guess there's no way to get that correct. I don't even know if it's in the game. But, you guys probably remember from Subnautica 1. Either way, let's see what other, uh, other attack that we can get going on over here. Oh yeah, the still suit! Synthetic fibers. Oh, that was another... So where... What? What is the uh, spiral plant clipping? What is a spiral plant? I don't know if I saw anything down there. I was kind of like a spiral. We already have the aerogel. Polyaniline uh, and young cotton an anemone. Those things, they all sound like stuff that we could actually grow here though, right? I kind of want to get... Oh, you know what? Yeah, speaking of growing. How are uh, shrub nuts doing over here? We completely forgot about these guys. Let's see. Oh, they're growing! Shrub nuts! Grab all the shrub nut tater. You guys remember last episode? We almost like and died. And then, oh my gosh, there's a lot of shrub nuts over here. Noise. Look at those big old shrub nuts. Plant them down. Cover them in dirt. Boom. And they're going to be providing a tasty little treat for us here in the future. Oh, I definitely want to go get... Do I have any titanium right now? No. I have two aerogel. I need to put that up in that one uh, thing. But yeah, this is going to be a great source of food and water. Look at that. Uh, and health. Look at that. Water goes up by 5. Food goes up by 15. And health goes up by 10. So that's that's really, really good. Does this spoil or anything like that? Uh, I assume maybe uh, after a while it'll spoil. It'll be like decomposing shrub nuts or something like that. And it'll all be shriveled little, little nuts or something like that. You know, I, I, need to, I need to watch what I'm saying here. I'm going to get heck into monetize. Jeez. <laughs> Either way, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to put up the aerogel over here in the crafted stuff there, and then uh, I guess we'll get some more titanium. There we go. See if we get some more plants over here. Oh yeah, another thing, uh... Oh yeah, one, one, one thing I know you guys were saying. Why, why don't you sit like a base or something like that over here, you know, with a bed, and uh, like the coffee machine. I don't, I don't think anyone said the coffee machine, but that was also a thing I was thinking, like place down like a, a table where I could put the coffee machine. That'd be pretty good. Uh, so where am I going to do this? Where, where, where could I put like a table? 
vehicle upgrade console. I don't know if I want to use something like that when we don't have the moon pool just yet. Which, speaking of such, where is that moon pool? I completely forget. There it is right there. Titanium make it. Too, we could make that like right now. I think we do it. Two lead lubricant. We have tons of lubricant. Uh, I think we have two lead titanium ingot. I think that's 10 titanium and we combine them together into five each to get one titanium ingot. I think we could do that, you guys. Maybe. Maybe maybe we can make the moon pool here. And then if I want to build that like other base, I could always just deconstruct it. You know, like what's stopping me, right? So let's see. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Whoops, that's the wrong thing too. See, I don't want to deconstruct something. I don't want to accidentally hit that button there <laughs> and accidentally deconstruct something. So, uh. There we go, titanium ingot. I don't know how many we have right now. I might have to go outside and see if we can get one more, one or two more pieces of titanium. Ah, yeah, see, I'm just missing one more right there. Man, I do have the lead, though. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we've got plenty of lead, yeah. And I think we have the, uh, the lubricant, like it just said right there, so I don't think we have to worry about that necessarily, so. Let's go floating around here and look for, a uh, titanium. Oh, there we go. Looks like something right there. Is that going to be titanium or, uh, lead? Hey, chance of lead and got titanium right there. Noise! All right, well, I guess we'll be making the moon pool. And of course, the moon pool is going to be able to charge up our sea truck over there. And it's going to be able to, I think it repairs it. I'm not 100% sure. If not, that, at least it makes it a lot easier for us to repair it because it kind of hoists it up in the air, you know? So we're actually able to aim the repair gun at it and of course, place down that one uh, vehicle upgrade station. Or, which, speaking of such, how do you make that? If I want to make that, which I do. Uh, there's right there. Ah, three titanium and then computer chip and copper wire. Not, not too bad. We could definitely get that going, but... Uh, See, let's get the lead. I think it was just either one or two lead. I'm just going to grab two just in case and then one lubricant. I guess we'll place the uh, the moon pool like next to us to the side of us over here. Or maybe we should do it over here. But I can't really. Yeah, I can't really do it there because the heckin. Oh, and yeah, this does slope down a little bit. So it, it does give us a little bit of room. So that's really, really good. Um, Do I want to have like a hallway here that goes into the moon pool? I'm kind of thinking that like if I wanted to do that, I'm going to get more uh, titanium. So let's see. L component. How do I do the L glass? Okay, that one's just two glass, which means four quartz. I don't think we have that though. Man, that's some sort of weird mushroom right there. Yeah, I need to go scanning around see if I could find this. Uh, what was it called? Like spiral coral or something like that. I need to go find that. You know, man. Ah, uh, see, I want to. I want to place down titanium here, or uh, place down a heckin' hallway there. That way, I can go inside the moon pool. All that kind. Of, it's, it's, that way, it's not like a separate thing. You know, so. Ah. Uh, I don't know how many titanium I'm going to need for this, but I might. Oh, oh, here we go. I was about to say I need. Oh man, that gave me copper. Oh hey, hey, what are you going to give me? Copper, copper again? Come on, man. On oh, lead, I want a titanium, and it gives me lead. There we go. We got a titanium right there. Jeez. So I need to get like four, four or five more or something like that. Either that or try and get a bunch of quartz. I get the uh, the glass version of that. That'd be really good. I do think uh, it's, it's going to have to like curve like that just by looking at the angle of the area around there. So uh, titanium, perfect. Oh, speaking of quartz, boom. So if I could find like three more of those, I think we're good. And we'll be able to make that. Out. Oh man, speaking of such, I think there's one down there. Chance of lead got a titanium. Nice. Yep. Oh wait, no, what is that? What's oh, a titanium? I guess we just kind of left that there. Probably emptied out our inventory and completely forgot about it. Another uh, quartz right there. So just need like two more of those. I'm still getting a lot of titanium here, which is great. Man, ah, inventory's full. Okay, drink of water. Okay, I guess we want to be making that out of normal titanium or something like that. Not too bad though. So, oh. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know, I'm going up. I'm getting myself some oxygen, Hater. Oh, there you go. I think I think this episode we might be just doing a lot of like base upgrades and like just general teching up and stuff like that. We did a lot of adventuring last episode. Maybe if we have enough time this episode, I might go down to the architect artifact down there. Uh, just like we did like two episodes ago where we did a lot of like base upgrades and then went to the artifact that was like over there or something like that. That's probably going to be what we're doing today, you guys. So uh, let's see. How do I? Here we go. Oh, compar I see. I kind of want to have it. Uh, then rotate like this. Oh, do I want it to? Uh, I don't know if I want to rotate like this. Maybe I will just have it straight then. I'm like, I could always de deconstruct this, right? Like, hmm. If I have it straight, it's going to go like right here. The actual moon pool is going to go like right there. So, hmm. Oh, if I place the moon pool, is it going to have like a connection there already? Or what do we got? Oh, yeah, it does. Wait, why can't I place it down here, though? Why is it not let me? Is it, oh, it might be because of the grav trap. Hold on. Let me get rid of the grav. Oh, I can't do that because my inventory's uh, full, I think, right? Ah, these big old shrub nuts in my inventory. Boom, there we go. Okay, I'm glad that I can eat the, eat the rest of the shrub nuts, I suppose. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. So grab the grav trap. I guess these guys are all going to go get away free. Boom, got it. Run free. You're free. Get away. Let's see. 
Let's try and place down the, the moon pool here. I didn't know it actually uh, had a thing there automatically. Oh wait, yeah, see, look at that. It's still not letting me do it. It must be. Oh wait, yeah, there you go. What in the world? I have to place it like up in the air. Oh, I guess there's not enough room below. That's probably why. Now, is there, is there a way to make that slope up or something like that then? How do I make that? Ah, uh, you know what? I, th I think the moon, I might have to place the moon pool like over here. I'd hate to do it, but we might have to. Well, I guess if we do that, it, it, we have a more open area on this side, right? So if I place the moon pool here, I might want to, let's see. If I place it like right here and then uh, like that. This might be how, oh, and there's a copper right there. Ah, okay. uh, what do you guys think? I like it. Let's do it. Oh, what in the world? There you go. I'm trying to construct, there you go. I'm like, like, like I said, we could always deconstruct this if we don't like it. Oh, whoa, whoa! What happened right there? Oh, I was trying to place down another one for some reason. Okay. Interesting placement there. I didn't know it did the uh, the automatic hallway right here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, boom, here we are. And then it goes straight to what could be my bedroom. So this is pretty good. And of course, if I come into here, I can just get uh, shrub nuts and have a, have a nice little feast. I like it. Let, let's go get our sea truck. Let's go drive it into here. And we have like a, a nice little like like, 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 entryway area there, I guess you could describe that as. So that's pretty cool. I don't even know, that might be, this might be the last time we ever use this second entrance over here now, you guys, golly. This is pretty cool. I don't know how I like this shape here, but just kind of think it outside the box and whatnot. Oh, okay, it just grabbed onto me. It's pulling me out of the water. Now, is it going to start charging it up? That's what I want to know. Now, now it's connected to, oh, yep, look at, look at the top of the screen, power. Keeps dropping down to 649 uh, out of 650. And you can see right there, yep. 67%. Uh, is it going to go up to 68% on- Yep, boom, there it is. Energy charging 68%. So yeah, it, it is going up slowly. Slowly but surely. Thankfully, we have that uh, bioreactor thing, so it's not going to be sucking energy. Uh, only- Oh god, whoops. Only during the day with the uh, solar panels and whatnot, so that's good. Might want to set up a- Oh, what in the world? What? There we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I was saying just a second ago. I don't know, can I place windows in here? I think I tried to do this in regular Subnautica. I don't think it was possible, but I might as well- But yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, I can, but I can do it only up here. Wait, where was that? Oh yeah, I do have quartz in my inventory, so uh... Oh yeah, see, look at that, what? Hold on, I'm gonna do it here. Why is it only specifically right there I can place a, a window? That's weird. It's not gonna place it like literally anywhere else. This is kind of strange. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it anyways, just cause why not? Let's see, where was that? Oh, now it's gone. Oh wait, oh, if I look at the wall, it kind of snaps up. Oh yeah, there, look at that, boom. Uh, Maybe I'll do it like right here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, what in the world? Wait, what happened? Do I not? Oh, it needs glass. Oh, I have. Yeah, I just have quartz on me right now, man. Ah, you see, this is this is one thing now. Now or heckin thing. Now we're like super duper far away from the fabricator. We can always just make another one, a second one and just put it like in that room. Make it a little bit easier on us and whatnot, but whatever. Now does it need one glass or two glass. I don't know. Let's go over here. Let's go see. Just because I want to have this little. Here we go. Hey, there. Oh, what in the world? Okay, that's a little bit of a glitch right there, but uh, hey, there you go. We have a window there, even though the green was like up there. That was kind of strange, but uh, hey, I like it. Now place another one there. I, I might have to set up a because uh, I don't know. I don't know what the hole strength over here is, which honestly might not even need to worry about that, considering how safe this area is. Yeah, see, look at that. Now, now that shows the whole thing there. Same thing there, and over here. I don't know. I'll probably I'll, if I'm going to put hole strength or anything like that over here, it's probably going to be like right there. And then, uh, I don't think, I don't think we can sneak one in, like, right here, right? Sounds like it's raining above us. Oh, God. Man! Ah, now get this thing out of my inventory. Man! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so every time we come out of the ladder, we can have a nice view there. Cool. Nice. All right, now, how's this doing? Is this, is it, did this repair it? Or do I still have to repair it? I forget. Yeah, health is at 89. Oh, energy fully charged. Boom. And just stop making that wow, wow noise. That's good. 89 health. Yeah, I don't think it's actually uh, repairing it because it was 89 earlier when we were purposely running into that one thing, right? So I guess if anything, like I said, it hoists it in the air and makes it. Oh, man, I didn't mean to go inside. No, it's going to drop me below. Ah, don't go through the animation all over again. Come on, pick me up, pick me up. Oh, hey, oh. hey there you go. <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the go inside the heck of sea truck button instead of the repair button. Hold on, where is it? Here you go. Is this working? That's not, there we go, okay. And good as new. All right, nice. So let's see. Where can I place? Oh man, it, I put the uh, habitat. There it is, right there. Habitat builder. Where can I place that one thing? The vehicle modification. Here it is, right here. Vehicle uh, upgrade console. We need a computer chip and copper wire. Super duper cheap. 
So I suppose we just, uh... Yeah, see, I don't know if I want to have a... Like a hallway running from there and have like basically a big square. I mean, nothing's stopping us. We could do that. Eh. Maybe I'll put like the big, a big room or something like that right there, you know? That, that'd be pretty cool. Then we have to get rid of this uh, reinforcement and maybe put it over there or something like that. I don't know. Either way, what was I doing? Uh, oh yeah, the computer ship. How do, how do I make that? Where's that at on this one? The actual computer ship. Oh, I need the copper wire, so I might as well get that. Thanks to that uh, sea, monk, sea monk key giving me... Oh yeah, we could do this. Okay, I need to make another copper wire. But yeah, sea monkey giving me the uh, whatever earlier. You guys know what I mean, golly. More copper, golly. Another gold. Was that it? Oh yeah, we need the, the table core. I think two of them, right? So, uh, where's that? This one? Yep, yeah, boom, boom. Nice. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to go check up on the, uh, not the aerogel, but the thing that you need to make aerogel. We need to go see how that's doing down there. Because I want to see if we can actually get more seeds out of those. And then, of course, plant even more of them. I don't know if it's been long enough, but I guess we'll check here in just a bit. So, uh, what am I missing? Hold on, let's pull it up. I'm trying to remember off the top of my- Oh yeah, I have enough. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go make the vehicle modification module, whatever. <laughs> Let's go make that and place it somewhere over here, so, uh, boom. So where could, where could I place this? Like here? Oh, what in the world? Yeah, I don't want- Oh, what in the world? So if I place it here, I think it makes a cut out there. So, if I did this... I can't do that for some reason. I think if I, if I place this down, it makes a cut out where the thing goes, right? For some reason, it's not letting me do it. Mmm, lithium, titanium. It might- I don't know if it's because of this. Okay, what if I deconstruct that, then? There we go. Oh, what in the world? Okay, no. I am so confused now. That did fix it. Okay, yeah, look at that. That does make a little bit of an indent right here, so. Uh, okay. There, there you go. That. Don't know why that wasn't working, but there you go. But yeah, oh, yeah, well, you're able to change, like, colors and, and name of the, the thing here, and give, like, stripes and whatever. How do I do this? Interior color? How do I do this? Oh, saturation. Let's get that up. I don't know. Let's get a pink color. <laughs> What does that look like? Oh, it's it's turned. Oh man, if it's turned around like that, I might as well put it on this side, honestly. Oh, pff, I don't know that that pink interior is kind of uh, kind of interesting. I like it. Yeah, you know what? I'll stick it right there for a second. Let me de let me deconstruct the vehicle upgrade icon. So, and I place it the other direction. That way we could actually uh see what's happening in real time. Even though you know, once we go up the ladder, well, I guess we could always go up this ladder and see uh, out the window, right? So uh, I guess I'll place the other window like right here. Boom. There you go. And then we'll place the Upgrade module. Here we go. Or upgrade console. Whatever. I cannot get the heck of name right. Golly. And here we go. I, th I thought this is where you actually craft the... Oh, wait. Hold on. Is this it? It is. Yeah, this is where you craft the upgrades. Yeah. Okay, so it's for the sea truck. Uh, Yeah, we already have this thing. I don't know where we got it. I think we got it from uh, Margaret's area, perhaps. Or stole it or so. I don't know. But either way, we already have that. But for the depth upgrades, to make that thing go a little bit deeper without heckin' exploding and stuff... Uh, we need to combine diamonds with glass, I believe, to get the enamel glass, like we saw earlier, and plastic and get so five titanium. We could definitely do that. We're not going to be limited to 150 meters anymore. We could actually go a little bit deeper. I don't know how deeper. Maybe 300 or something like that. Maybe it doubles. Who knows? Sea truck. You know what? You know what? I'll let you guys name the sea truck. Leave a comment down below. What should we name the sea truck here? Uh, let's see. Name me fam. There you go. And then exclamation point. There you go. There you go. So leave a comment down below. What should I name my heckin' sea truck over here? And I think if we go a, a distance away and actually see the, uh... Yeah, there it is right there. You can see it says, Name Me Fam. <laughs> so if you guys uh, leave a comment down below suggesting uh, what to name this heckin' sea truck right here, like no matter where we are, if we try and look for the sea truck, we'll actually see the heckin' name of it right there. So leave a comment down below. Anything, anything advertiser friendly, of course, that won't get my channel shut down, obviously. And be sure to thumbs up comments that you guys like it. That way I knew which ones are <laughs> you guys really like and are really popular amongst you guys, golly. Either way, uh, get the- There we go, get that out of the way. So the base of this, what color should I make this? Uh, ooh, yeah, you know what, a high visibility like orange or yellow or something like that? Or maybe like a lime or something like that? Like, if, if, if we're gonna have blue all over the place, like a yellow really sticks out. Like a yellow submarine! Ooh, that's perfect. And we have like, pff, something just crashed into our base. Now, what is this stripe? What does this look like? Let me, let me get let me make that red right now just so I can see what that looks like. What is that? Is that this line right here and then that right there? And of course, I, I assume this the color. Oh my god, there's a peeper right there coming up out of the wild like a baby dolphin. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, I, didn't even, Captain. I never left board. <laughs> I just grabbed a peeper with my bare hands. Uh, what was I saying? Just like, oh yeah, if we have like other 
like, like, like modules connected to C-Trick, like right here and like right here or whatever. I assume it also takes on the same color. Oh, what in the- why is there like a green right there? I don't know if I like that, like army green that's like right there, you know? Where is that? Oh, can I not change that? Okay, well, we can, we can keep name as blue or black, so we can actually see that pretty easily. Interior? Uh... See, I, I want to have it at a really bright interior, but we have yellow on the outside. So, bright green on the inside, sure. Lemon lime colors over here, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Uh, stripe, I, I don't know. Stripe is like red. We have it red, but it looks orange. Or at least. Is that, is that, oh God, I'm stuck. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, that's red. Over there, it looks kind of orange though. And I can't change this, I get, I get, I, I think maybe, <laughs> name me fan. <laughs> I think maybe the uh, this green right here is based off that yellow. So if I made it like a blue or whatever, it might make it like a teal or something like that, right? So if I change the base to, like I said, like a blue, then like the little engine. Yeah, see, look at the engines changed to a little little bit of a purple, dark blue color right there. So that's pretty interesting. Don't want to have it blue like that. It blends in way too much with the water. So uh, let's make that that high visibility yellow area. So yeah, I guess I can't actually change that green motor or whatever right there. That's unfortunate, but. We have a cool little green uh, yellow submarine with a green interior there, and it says Namey Fam. And of course, if you guys uh, leave some comments and whatever the most popular comment is, suggesting a name for this thing, hey, it's going to be printed on the side of the, uh, the sea truck right there. So that's pretty cool, you guys. Nice. Now, was there, uh, was there anything else I, want I wanted to build while I was here? Oh, yeah, I, I wanted to build that, like, de oh, yeah, and then we have the jukebox. We I think we have an actual record I could play in the jukebox, so might want to do that. Modification station, we can finally make this, you guys. Ooh, we can make the, uh, the thermo blade. And if you guys don't remember what that what that is, it's like an upgraded version of this knife. And if we slice a heckin' fish with it, it automatically cooks it, so... Uh... I'm trying to remember right now. Yeah, I think it, if you guys know in Minecraft, if you have a heckin' fire... Like, fire sword or whatever it's called, fire... Not fire resistance, but you guys know what I mean. It has the fire enchantment on it. And you kill like a... Like a cow or whatever, and it burns to death. It gives you a cooked beef. It's basically the same concept over here, you know? It's really cool. So... I think it what was a computer chip. We just made one, I believe, so it shouldn't be that hard. And then the coffee machine. Okay, yeah, we can do that too. Titanium right there, not bad. Yeah, computer chip. We have the diamond. We have the lead. There you go, lead. I think we have plenty of diamonds. Just kind of yeah, we have we have two extras right there, not bad. And I will gladly spend a. I think we need gold. I think we need two uh, that, and then a table coral. But I will I will gladly spend a diamond on this because this is a pretty good uh, piece of tech right here. Let's see. Let's get the uh, copper wire. And then we've got to make another copper wire, and then, there you go, computer chip. Is that enough? Oh, I didn't grab enough copper right there, man. There you go. But I think we have enough right here, you guys. Let's see. And then copper wire. Perfect. All right. Yeah, just doing a lot of, like, home, like, 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 Martha Stewarting here at home. <laughs> you know, just kind of upgrading the base and getting, uh, getting stuff made over here, you know. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm like, we had a lot of exploration last episode, so it's not that big of a deal, right? Uh, yep, boom, there you go, modification station. Now, where are we going to put this? Am we going to put it over here? Like, maybe, like, right there. How big is it, though? Eh? I think we had it in our main room. Well, I could probably put it, like, right here, honestly. I might. Yeah, you know what? Let's put it, like, right here. Let's try and center this as much as possible. Make, maybe put, like, plants next to it or something like that. Shrub nut plants. The plant mascot of the series. There we go. Nice. All right. Ah, oh, that's probably going to be, like, awesome. Someone's going to take a screenshot and, like, measure and see, oh, it's, like, a lopsided to the left uh, ever so slightly. You better fix that. <laughs> At least I'm not looking super close at it right now, so if it is off-centered, I certainly don't notice it, right? It's got a quick peeper going. Oh, man! How are shrub nuts and the, uh, the gel sacks? Or whatever. Oh, that was, those were two words I should not have said right next to each other. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get my channel taken down. Hold on. One. Two. Uh, one. Two. Just making sure I'm uh, slicing the right one, because I don't want to get rid of these. One. Two, because remember, we could actually use these to make aerogel with the rubies. Oh! Oh, I forget. Did I slice this one already? Well, it didn't go away right there, so. Okay. I think I'm good. Let me pick these up. There you go. And put all the seeds in those. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now, once these are all harvested here, and give us seeds. Oh, no, never mind. One, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get two from each one. Oh, well, we're not going to have a full one just yet. We'll have two rows done. And we'll still have one, or, uh, whatever. We'll still have two rows open, because we're going to be able to harvest it. Whatever, you guys know what I mean. 
we have a lot going on right there. We only had two gel sacks earlier. Now we have eight growing right there, which is great. We have a lot of growth going on right now. Now, speaking of growth, let's go check up on our nuts and see how those are doing over here and see how those are growing. Uh, well, these are like middlings or whatever. What was that? 69% on our nuts. Nice. All right. Well, that's great progress right there. And we have some fresh nuts we can grab right here. Slurp, slurp, slurp. And get some water out of that. Even though that's kind of a waste, it only gives you like five water or something like that. But I'm like, we have so many nuts. I don't think it really matters. Like, golly. I might as well go. I, I think we can go to that iceberg or whatever that we originally set up. Oh, my inventory's full of nuts. There you go. We can probably get a lot of shrub nuts from over there. But yeah, this is definitely that one tree from Subnautica 1. That gave us a lot of food. This is this is this is the below zero version of that now, you guys. And that's awesome. So, is there anything else over here I was trying to do? Were we trying to make that upgrade? Oh yeah, we were. An ammo glass, two of those. I might be able to get that. The depth module I will gladly spend. Sea truck. What do you call it? Diamonds on the sea truck depth module thing, because that'll make it a lot easier for us to go back down there and grab more diamonds, right? But how do you make the pl not the plastic steel, but yeah, enamel glass? Where was that again? Yeah, one diamond and then lead and then just one glass. So, uh, I think we need quartz. Well, we have one quartz here. There we go. What was that dinging noise I heard just right there? I don't know what that was. What are we doing here? Awesome. Okay, that's good. So don't have to worry about that. I filled it up with fish before I started the episode. So don't have to worry about that. We'll grab another lead. Hmm. I think we're good in that regard. We just need three more quartz, and I think we're good to go, you guys. Okay. Well, let's go out. Might as well go, just like I said, maybe go to that iceberg or whatever that's over here. Check on the nuts, grab them, shove them in our mouth, get ourselves a little bit of salt. Oh, well, not right now. We, we already, we're already full on water and uh, food right now, so don't need to waste that, right? And then, uh, you know what? After we're done here, after after we have... Oh, yeah, and then I want to use the modification station to upgrade my heckin' sword, right? Oh! Oh, my God! Why in the world is that thing right there? Get the heck away, Hater! Get the heck away! Golly! That thing making that chomp, chomp, chomp noise. Brute shark, that's what it's called. Oh! Oh my god, oh no, 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 oh my god! Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, how smart and it, nice! Okay, let's get the heck away. It's getting tangled up over here. Golly, that's like the first time we saw it in this area. Oh, there it is. Jeez, it's eating like all the little fish. I think it might hang out like deep below. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Sea truck fragment? What is this? It is. Hey, I'll get titanium out of that. I'm not going to complain. Boom, two, ti two or three titanium right there. Not bad. That's table coral right there. What is that? Oh, I thought that was quartz. Nah. Yeah, we do need to get three quartz here, so definitely want to keep our eyes peeled. That's salt. Don't need that. We already have a few. Uh, oh, and there's the... Oh, is this the spiral coral or what? Is this what I'm... No, it's like a horseshoe. Crescent moon coral. Ooh. Well, that's good to at least know about. I don't know if we need... Oh, oh there's another one right there. I don't know if we need that crescent moon coral for anything here in the future, you guys. Oh, I'm heading the wrong way. I pull. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's right behind me. Oh, my gosh. Golly. Trying to swim all around. Get it off my eckin' tail. Oh, hey, look at that. We got a quartz. Yeah, we need two more of those, I think. Yeah, look at my inventory. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. What in the world is that? Arctic ray? Ugh. Nasty looking thing. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some oxygen. We don't have that thing on our hotbar, so we might as well just go swim up there and we'll be good to go. Hey, stay over here, see if I can find some more uh, quartz, I think. Oxygen. Okay, I'm good. Oh, what in the world? Oh, that's that one uh, platform over there, yeah. Okay, we're full on oxygen. I think, uh, what was it? Somewhere over here we saw. There's a lot of, like, salt and quartz or something like that. I don't know how far away that is because I don't want I don't want to travel too far. Obviously, I could have used my heckin. I win the world's all oh, nice. A uh, what do you call it right there? Sea glide. Obviously, I could have used my sea truck over here. Thought we we're going to find quartz a little bit faster than this, but whatever. Well, there's a couple things right here, but uh, I'll grab them anyways. Titanium. Nah, not bad. And copper. Not bad right there. Any quartz around here, though? Nah, I'm not seeing any. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, that's lithium right there, man. I think it is. More right there. Yeah, oh. God, this is definitely a different biome here. I think this is a, uh, like, if I if I might be able to set up, like, that thermal generator or whatever. Oh, my God, Cryptosuchus right there. I might be able to set up a thermal generator somewhere over here, because you guys remember there's like, a crevice that went down to lava? I think that's what we're looking for for that to get set up, you know? Oh, another sea glide fragment. Boom. Get a little bit more uh, titanium right there. I don't know how we're doing inventory wise. Yeah, we have a decent amount left. It's not too bad. Let's get that thing on number five, by the way. Okay, in case I'm 
you know, about to die because I don't have the extra tank on me right now. So it's kind of helpful. Oh, what is this? Oh, hey, look at that. We found a uh, quartz right there, so that's good. That's helpful. That's why. Oh, and there's another one right there. Perfect. Okay, let's grab that. Let's go grab some oxygen. And another, hey, you know what? An extra profit quartz right there. I'm not going to complain about that one bit. Boom. Auction plant depleted. Nothing inside there. We need to worry. What was this? More vehicle bait frat. Ah, okay. Let's get some uh, titanium out of that, I suppose. Boom. I'm like, I do oh, man, another quartz. Perfect. It's like a. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, there's another quartz back there, too. Okay, I think. Okay, I think we're good. Jeez. Is there anything I could drop right now that went away? Uh, I guess I could eat the old cooked peeper. There you go. At least that gave me a little bit back. Uh, oh, I should have played. Oh, I forgot to place the grab trap back down, man. Well, there's two quartz over here. I'd love to grab. Oh, and there's another one back there. Oh. Yeah, I've got a full inventory right now. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Excuse my harsh language. Ascend out of the water. Oh! Oh, God, broke my knees right there. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the base, and I guess we'll, uh, I guess we're not gonna have any time to go to that one, uh, thing at the end of this episode, you guys, unfortunately. I, I still want to make the modification station, like, thermo blade. Still want to go do that, as well as make the, uh, the depth module for our name me fam thing, which is, which is perfect, by the way. Like, we can end off this episode, and then I'll be able to read you guys' comments about what we should name that heckin' sea truck right there, which is really cool. I don't know if we could actually name, like, the separate, like, compartments of the sea truck, like, if... If the first, the cab of it has one name and like the, uh, what is it called? There's like a, an aquarium module. I don't know if that can have a separate name. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because we, we're still missing. Captain. Oh yeah, here it is right here, by the way. Thermal blade. Oh, we just need a battery. Okay, yeah, let's grab that heater. Actually, you know what? We can make a brand new one. Uh, no, I'm not right now. I'm heckin' inventory is full. Hold on, I need to get two plastic steel, right? No, just two glass. Yeah, two glass. And then, uh, we have the diamonds right now, right? Just combine together with the uh, enamel glass. Boom. Oh yeah, you do need plastic, don't you? I think it's two uh, enamel glass, two plastic, right? Which would mean. Hold on, let me let me go make sure. I'm trying to remember over here off the top of my head, I'm not, I'm not confident. Let's see, what was it? It was just one. Okay, just one plastic ingot. Okay, glad I didn't make two right there. We yeah, got two plastic, so we need to get one uh, titanium ingot. Combine those together with, uh, what? Titanium again. There we go. Okay, perfect. How do I get class deal again? Let's see. Forgot about that, but, uh, lithium. Okay, yeah, easy. Two lithium. Boom, boom. Noise. Yeah, over in that area where we went last episode, yeah, we can find a lot of, li we literally just saw some lithium just, like, two seconds ago. Like, two minutes ago. <laughs> Either way, plastic deal we get. Boom. Let's get that going. And then we can make a battery, and we're going to be able to upgrade our therm, or regular blade into a thermal blade. So, what was it? Copper? And, like, two of these things over here? Two of these ribbon plant things, and I think that's it, right? Battery, where is that at? There it is, right there, boom. Easy. See, I don't want to use one of the batteries we're using for charging and whatnot. I might be able to make another one, because we have three charging over there. I guess it'd be pretty good if we could have four ready to go, but, uh, nah, not that big of a deal. Not a huge, uh, like, priority right now. But either way, Thermal Blade cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate net consumption. Now, what happens if I kill a, what do you call it? Oh, I get, yeah, I guess if I kill a uh, bladderfish with it, it'll just make a cooked bladderfish. I was about to say, is that going to give me a water bottle? But no, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, here we go. Boom. We have that now. Noise. And let's go make the depth module over here. Oh, you hear it's kind of sizzling right now. You guys hear that? It's kind of sizzling. And it went away right there. <laughs> this is going to be pretty heckin' good, you guys. Boom. There it is right there. Sea truck upgrade. Sea truck depth upgrade. Mark one. Uh, I think Mark, like, like. Four is the highest one you can have? I don't know. Or maybe Mark 5 or something like that, by the way. Uh, so yeah, Mark 2 would pro it'd probably give us like 400 meters or something like that. Oh, it's on the other side. Golly, I'm stuck! Uh, Mark 3, probably like 600. And I think, I, I forget how deep we got in regular Subnautica. Probably like a thousand or something like that, just casually. I don't know. But either way, there you go. Depth upgrade. Let's go see how that, what, what, what the new depth limit is now. It was 150 before. Now it is 250 or 300. What is it? 300! Awesome! So yeah, we can definitely go down to Margaret's area now. Go get some more diamonds. Go get some more ruby. Go get some more uh, gel sacks. Whatever else we could find over there, you know? That's going to be really, really cool. But for right now, I guess we'll end off this episode. Cheat, there you go. We can end off this episode by not getting stuck. Let's get back into the water. We can slice a few uh, peepers and whatever else right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's go get the grav trap. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Get the grav trap back out. Let's go to trap a bunch of critters. And we can just slice them with the thermal blade all over again. And it'll be like dead. Let's see. Uh, boom. There you go. Noise. 
Uh, please. It, oh, it already caught something right there. Okay, let's, let's slice this thing real quick. And oh, oh, cooked hoop fish immediately. Boom! Instant food. Oh, here we go. A couple peepers. Of course, this means I can't. Uh, you know, you get cured. I don't. I don't think there's like a salty knife <laughs> that'll like give you a cured stuff instead of cooked stuff. That'd be really good. And of course, the bladder fish. Yeah, cooked bladder fish right there. Does that give you a, it still gives you a little bit of uh, water right there, which is good. So there you go, I'll still get that. It's the same with that, same with that. There you go, we still have that snowball in my inventory, by the way, so that's kind of like a, a thing right now. It's kind of like a meme. I'm going to have to always keep that in my inventory for the entire heckin' series. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of like written in stone at this point, right? <laughs> uh, either way, we, oh man, that was a bladder fish right there, whoops. Either way, this was a pretty good productive episode thus far. Not too bad, I'm not complaining about that one bit. Let's get this going, let's get, uh, there you go. Oh, I... Don't know if we get more seeds out of this now as a heckin' thermal blade, but there you go. Let's just whack each sack twice. Ooh. To get the seeds out of the sack. Ooh. There are two seeds in each sack before the sack implodes. So we want to be very careful here with our surgical procedure. Wow, I have exactly enough inventory space for that, so that's good. And oh, I didn't even put up the old uh, sacks, so that's kind of surprising. Let's see. Dip, 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 dip. Blip, 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 and blip. There you go. Let's go put them up over here. I guess we can go check them on our nuts. Now that we just checked up on our sack, we can actually go uh, get a little bit more, uh, like, plants, plant pots or whatever. We can get the... Whoops, that's the wrong one. That used to be where I put all the uh, that kind of stuff, but not anymore. I reorganized it between this episode and the last episode. So there you go. Cook the bladder fish. Let's get that going, too. Noise. Put up the titanium over here. Nice. Quartz. Copper. And, uh, copper wire. We made that, so it goes into the stuff that we crafted uh, area there. Is there anything else we can make it? Oh, yeah. Ultra high capacity tank, that's where we're going to be able to make that. Sea truck depth upgrade mark 2. So yeah, we need the depth upgrade mark 1. Alongside two rubies, I think we have that. Enamel glass, we can't get that right now. We don't have an, uh, another diamond. And then synthetic fibers, we still don't have that. So this is where we make the mark 2. And then the depth upgrade mark 3. We need nickel ore, kyanite, the depth upgrade mark 2, and then another plastic ingot. So that's, that you guys see right there, that's how we're going to check up to mark 3. Which actually might be the highest one you can actually get. But let's go check up on our nuts. There you go, go downstairs to go get the nuts. And uh, we're doing pretty well right now, you guys, honestly. Jeez. I want to get more of these. Uh, See, I don't know if there's like a large indoor plant bed I could use. Oh, what in the world? I was like floating right there. Uh, but I guess I'll just keep using regular sized plant pots or something like that. I think they're just... Oh, man, my nuts are in the way. There you go. Oh, whoops. I guess I can put them in there temporarily. There you go. There you go. Uh, oh, and then I have to get the habitat builder on number five. There you go. But yeah, I, I guess I'll just put them in individual plant pots, at least for right now, you know? And uh, also steer clear like this and this and this, just so, you know, in case we actually build anything and attach it there, we still uh, walk in and out without having any problems. So chic plant plot, plant pot. Gosh, vending machine. Yeah, we need to work on that, uh, that like, office or whatever. We need to build that. There you go. We need to build that, like, nah, it's not centered, but whatever. We need to build that, like, next episode or whatever, but not, not not too huge of a deal. Let's get the chic one over here. Is that this? Is that going to fit? Oh, there we go. Oh, it was there for a second. Oh, nice. All right, it's going to be a perfect place for us to stash our nuts until we're actually going to need them, so. There we go. Nice. All right. And I guess now we don't have any more titanium, which I think was two titanium each. Ah, uh, do I have no... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Grab those nuts. There you go. I guess I'll just snack on the rest of them. Blup, 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 blup. There you go. Nice. All right. Well, I guess we can end off this episode right here. We got a lot of progress done, as you guys saw. And hey, real quick, just before I, uh, you know, a nice little reminder before we end off the video. Be sure to leave comments naming our uh, sea truck over here. And uh, if you guys see any name suggestions you guys really like, be sure to give them a thumbs up so I know which ones are very popular amongst you guys. And then next episode, we'll be able to name this thing and then take this thing all the way down to the Architect Artifact Q59. See what's going on over there. Uh, we had like a water filter or something like that in the other one, so I don't know what this other artifact's going to be. So that's going to be pretty. Oh, what in the world? Floating on the ceiling. <laughs> but either way, that's going to be something to look forward to for next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell. Whoops, I just put the old battery inside the habitat thing right there. Uh, be sure to ring that bell. So YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode comes out so you don't miss next episode because like I said, we're going to be going back to more exploration next episode. Now that we actually got some of the some of the base tech upgrades and stuff like that done over here, I definitely feel a lot more confident going really deep 
below with our depth module upgrade going and of course our uh, thermal blade I think it might do more damage to like enemies and stuff like that so I feel a lot more confident uh, slicing and dicing at them as well as uh oh yeah I'm not able to make that yet right that, that swimsuit yeah yeah synthetic fibers we're still missing that we need to figure out how to get these spiral plant clippings we need to figure out which biome those are going to be found in and of course we'll be able to make something that's going to protect us or uh, not protect us but it well probably but uh, it like makes water or whatever. How does it work? Reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean, drinkable water. So I guess it turns my sweat into drinkable, uh, drinkable water. So that's going to be disgusting and delicious at the same time. But until then, <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Subnautica Below Zero. Oh, bye there. Oh.